Abhishek, uh, with the you know increase of all this digital payment etc. and lot of new things have happened, and you know with our age here, yeah. you know, losing track of things. Can you explain me in simple term how how this you know credit card etc. or all all your these money how, how how does that work? The economics of it. How how does it work? Uh, sir, um, the process uh, and economics. I want to understand in simple terms. Sir, what exactly is the question? Uh, you want me to explain how a credit card works? Yeah, start with that. Yeah, okay. I want to understand the entire scene because you know digitization, uh, all these things have. Right. So I'll I'll it'll be a slightly lengthy explanation. Sir, uh, let's say my banker is State Bank of India. So the first step would be that I apply to State Bank of India to issue me a credit card. There are two primary companies. Uh, we, we call them uh, card network companies, Visa and Mastercard, uh, that issues these cards on behalf of these banks. So it'll be a State Bank of India card, either a Visa card or a Mastercard. Fine. So uh, there are multiple parties involved. So what happens is that when I get this card, then I can use this card to make payment uh, either on a, a point of terminal, point of sale terminal, POS terminal, or online or in any such mode. So the way it happens is when it comes to working, uh, when I Try and buy something online. Let's let's talk about online. So when I try and buy something online, I go through a payment gateway. So at the step when we try and buy something, it'll ask me to make a payment. So I'll punch in the credit card details of mine, uh, the card that's issued to me by let's say Visa and State Bank, and uh, I'll just forward those details. Now that payment gateway is the interface through which it happens. This transaction happens. After that, this payment gateway. Would send these details, my details that I've entered, in an encrypted form to the payment processor. This payment processor would check these details with the issuing bank. Issuing bank in this case would be SBI. It would check whether the details that I've entered are correct or not. So, if the details are valid, it would process the payment. So, the the flow after that would be that uh, uh, this money would then get into the merchant's account. So, if I let's say bought bought it from Amazon. This money would get into the merchant's account after deducting some transaction fees. That's called interchange fees. So it's generally around two to three percent. So that would be deducted, uh, and the rest would go into, uh, let's say, your Amazon, your account. It will go. Okay. Uh, this is uh, how it works. So this two two and a half percent is deducted, and the rest goes into the uh, merchant account. This two two and a half percent is distributed among all the parties. So uh, okay. the the issuing bank. Uh, the acquiring bank, acquiring bank is the merchant's bank, and the payment gateway, and the card network, Visa or Mastercard or whatever. So this is the complete flow, like. Okay, understood. So, okay, if I have to understand the payment cycle, etc., is it good to use credit card? Means yes, sir. Credit? It's it's wonderful if you are using it with discipline. So, uh, f- for example, if uh, uh, if you are somebody who is disciplined, uh, you can actually have a interest-free cr- credit of fifty days. So uh, by fifty days, I think billing cycle is only twenty days. Yes, sir. Uh, let's say my billing cycle is from sixth to fifth of a month. Mm-hmm. So if I let's say make a purchase of two lakh rupees on sixth of a particular month, my bill would be generated on next fifth okay. after one month. So I've got this thirty days credit, and then the company, my bank, would give me a twenty day period to make the payment. Okay. So effectively, I can make the payment on twenty fifth of next month. So on sixth, I made the purchase. On twenty fifth of next month. It'll be the purchase, so it's like forty nine, fifty, fifty one days. But roughly, I can get a fifty day credit if I use it wisely. So basically, fifty day credit, absolutely interest free. If I do it like that, wow, that you're giving me some ideas. Why can't I use two credit card and take five lakh, you know, as credit, and then take fifty days from here, pay it back, take fifty days from here again, pay it back. Oh uh, yes, sir. That is the first thing that my that came to my mind as well when I thought about credit cards. But it's not allowed. It's called balance transfer. So you cannot make a credit card payment, credit card bills payment by another credit card. So the bill desk and all is not allowed. You'll have to make it. Are you sure card. about it? Yes, sir. One hundred percent sure. You have to apply for a balance transfer in case uh, you'll be charged for that. So it's it's not that you. No free lunches. No free lunches. So for fifty days, yes, sir. But. You cannot do it uh, infinitely like that. You cannot have uh, interest-free money uh, for the rest of your life. You cannot do that. Okay. Okay. How is MX different? I I, I I actually wanted to get an MX card, but I hear it's a little different. Yes, sir. MX is a little different in the sense that uh, I talked about SBI card. So SBI would have a Visa or a Mastercard stamped on it. MX does not have anything like that. So MX is different in the sense that MX uh, serves the roles of both the issuing bank. 
and the card company. So Amex is both the card company and the issuing bank. So the and, an American Express card would have just American Express written over it. Mm -hmm. Another difference in case of Amex would be that uh, the transaction fee is a little higher. So the payment gateway is generally do not charge you at 2%, it will be like 3%. So uh, you must have seen some smaller merchants saying that we would not accept an Amex card. Mm -hmm. And the reason is that the transaction fee is higher. And the reason why transaction fee is higher is because Amex generally does not earn in terms of interest. It earns uh, because of this, either because of ERP charges subscription charges or because of this higher transaction so you, that nice point you brought i also wanted i, I think i asked you about economics but and then i kind of lost it there yeah. how, how do these credit card companies work how where does their mula come from uh, so different it is all in that two two and a half percent mm -hmm. so if we look at it typically the numbers vary but uh, the bulk of that two two and a half percent goes to the issuing bank so if you have taken a credit card from state bank of india bulk of that two percent would go to state bank of india a very small percentage to Visa or Mastercard or whatever that is and some part to the acquiring bank, even to the merchant's bank. This is how they all work and yes, payment gateway, the interface that you are talking about, some part goes to the payment gateway as well. So that 2% um, um, whatever is discounted uh, by payment gateway gets distributed among all these parties. Mm -hmm. So out of 100 rupees, let's say 2% is deducted, 98 goes to the merchant. So merchant is basically paying that 2% and which gets distributed among all the parties. Okay. But if, if I look at this money, it's very trivial because, you know, as you said, if I'm smart, I can use that for 50 days. Are they able to cover the interest with just this 2%? Where do they get, uh, can can they sustain on that? Or so there is any other way they make sir, if, money? If you talk about it um, in, in terms of making money, you're asking me mm -hmm. uh, how do the credit card, how they sustain? How do they make money? Just this 2% they are giving me 50 Days sir, credit. it is three things, broadly three things, um, and there will be some small, slightly insignificant things as well, but broadly three things, one would be the subscription charges, the yearly charges, okay. which in some cases do not exist. Yeah. Uh, two would be, there is a very large percentage of people who default on payments, and that I would say comprise the bulk of their money. So the, the charges on delayed payments on a credit card are very hefty. So if you make a default, you, are, you have to pay through your nose. And uh, the same is the case for ATM withdrawals and all. So this is one thing, this is the carrot through which banks earn. And the third would be the one that I just explained, on every transaction the issuing bank makes some money. So these are primarily the three things through which they make money. Apart from it, there is some money that they make through foreign transactions and all. So there are ways through which they make money, but yes, number two, uh, payment made through defaults is the primary way through which banks Basically, make money. So I can say all these credit cards are loan shark companies. Uh, you can say that sir, but I, I have been using it, I have been using it very effectively. I get interest free loans from them and without any hassle, without doing any paperwork. So if you use it with discipline, that's a great thing for you. But yes, people do not do that and that's why they have to bear the brunt of it. You can be great in this detail. What do you want to academics? What do you want to ask? You don't want to ask anything. You can ask a little bit. But these are the kind of things he's supposed to answer. How else would he make an impact? Now this is for somebody who is very poor at academics. So, you will answer something in life. How will you select it otherwise? Number two, we could have explained all this to you in a 10 minute video. Fine. We thought let's do it in the conversational mode where it becomes a little interesting for you. You get initiated and then you can read further on it. That is the reason why we did that. I mean, do not expect everybody would know about uh, such details and all the transactions. It's, it's not a very, um, I mean, if you ask me, it's not a very detailed thing in the sense that your yeah, online transaction is the biggest thing these days. I am an IT guy, right? I am a computer engineer. I am a computer that engineer is applying into a bank. Is it a relevant question for me? Think about this. Think about this. Think about something like cryptocurrency and all. These are all relevant issues for me. So I anticipated this question and prepared for it. And I have to make an impact. Um, I have messed up my academics badly. How do I do it? Am I preparing all these questions? In fact, you should have asked about tokenization. It is an important thing here. Tokenization is nothing but what they do is it's an additional security measure. He was supposed to ask this, but when I think it went for a little uh, too much. Uh, tokenization means that you convert that information, that uh, credit card details or whatever information you give in, in the form of symbols, unique symbols. So that's an additional layer of protection you can say. So these are this is encrypted thing that goes over there. So RBI has just authorized all these credit card, debit card. They have uh, just come up with some guidelines. Uh, couple of days. So that is tokenization. So that is a small process. Additional layer for security you can say that. So it will be all in the form of symbols rather than the actual information. So that is what we know about tokenization. Uh, another thing could have been what is the difference between an ATM card and a debit card. No difference here. You would hardly have seen an ATM card. Most of the companies, uh, banks who offer you uh, an ATM come debit card. So an ATM card would not do anything else for you. 
except for uh, withdrawing cash. Money. There will be no visa, Mastercard, or anything. You know, right. nothing stamped there. It's just plain, uh, say, vanilla card given to you by your bank to just withdraw cash from ATM. Even POS won't work there. So, uh, you will be joining as a probationary officer if you are selected. What do you think is uh, one important difference or quality in terms of quality, uh, one important uh, difference in quality of a probationary officer uh, as compared to a manager? Probationary officer uh, versus a manager. Again, sir, I talk from my experience, whatever I have yeah. seen in, in the branches I visit. Probationary officer, I feel he is the, again, uh, the uh, you know the first point of contact mm. the customer as a customer I like to go and talk to him mm. so I should be uh, having enough knowledge about the products of my bank which FD is giving what returns and maybe if I have something new to offer if I ask a provisioner what, what is the best thing that I can do to invest so much of my retirement money etc so I have to be very thorough with my product knowledge at the same time I should you know be able to listen to him and and explain uh, our product that that I feel is uh, very important. So for the manager, I believe it's his more supervisory role. Mm -hmm. He he will have you know uh, some managers to look after. He has to see that they are meeting their KRAs. At the same time, he is the uh, say a person who is the communication between the top management and the people, the managers on the ground. Mm -hmm. So that that's his important job. So come understanding the strategy and communicating there, and for the provisionary officer, meeting the customer and being able to understand his need and explain our product. That, that I feel is the difference. So that is important for selling the product. Yes. So you understand you will have to, you will probably have to sell things to a customer. Yes, sir. I am. Yes, sir. Uh, how, how, um, how good would you be at that, Sameer? Sir, I will give my best. Uh, yes. You understand how, how, how a thing is sold, how a person is, how, uh, what makes a good salesman? Yes, sir, I have read about sales process. You have read about yes, Would you want to try that? I can I can give it a you try. You can sir. try. Okay, I'll give you something then. Right, let's look at this. Right, this is your object. This is a uh, digital pen. Okay. Fine. Try selling it to me. You can ask me cross questions if you feel like. Okay. So this can is I what you uh, yeah. You ask me whatever. Try and sell this pen to me. Can I take a minute? To yes. <clears throat> Yes, sir. I'm really pleased to you know show you this latest innovation in the field of digital pens, which which is a patented technology by our company, and it's just just launched today. And as sir, I understand you are actually looking for a digital pen. Yes. So if you allow me to ask a couple of questions, sir, would that be yeah okay? So what you are actually looking in in, in a digital pen? Uh, okay. Uh, I just want a product that does not cost too much and the quality has to be very good and the primary job would be to uh, write on presentations using a digital mode. Okay. This is it. Uh, the, the recurring cost should not be there. I mean, it should be just one time investment. Yeah. So, sir, I understand you are looking for a economic pen. Which yes. Is, which is actually flawless. Which does the job. Yes. Economic does not mean cheap. Yes, sir. Yeah. I am I'm talking about the, yeah. And it, it is, you know, it, it has flawless capabilities. Yeah. Yes. And, and you know, it is, uh, of course, having no recurring costs, etc. So, sir, I will be again very, very pleased to say you the technology that we have, the nib that we have here, it's, 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 you know, it's unbreakable. Un it's unbreakable and it does not wear out. So, if we, if we drop it like that, yes, sir, you can, you can even test it. You okay. can just drop it and see, and it does not break. It, it does not even need replenishment. Mm -hmm. So, that saves a lot of cost vis a vis other digitizers that you might have used. So, you, you mentioned other digitizers. So, what, how does it uh, offer 
some advantages over other digitizers yes sir so the first uh, as i just mentioned the nib does not break sir which was important for you when you said you know it has to be economic and it does not have to be mm. uh, having a, any recurrent recurrent cost the latest technology that we have here sir is is not present in any there there are you know certain on the tip you know commands which are not there in other digitizers there are some which are still in in their you know uh, infancy we have gone much ahead you would not even have to use your keyboard most of the commands can be you know done just by using a couple of clicks here so that way we have even innovated the technology but is it actually useful or is it just a jazzy feature you, you can sir just try if you if you, you know allow me to show demonstrate how how you show me what what yes, it do so just just look at this sir this yeah. is this is what you want to change the color I, I right. hope, yes you are looking to change the color yeah. just just you click this and the color changes okay yeah now now if we just you know press this back again your the previous color folds okay. if i want third color i just press this and this can i change the slides yes sir. yeah so instead of you know pressing this first if i change this this changes the slide okay yeah so no other data in the market sir has has this options okay so, so do you have any other concerns sir no tell me more about it anything else that you think is a special feature of your product that differentiates it yes sir so even the you know one product which uh, you know the new feature that has come it also is included ai technology here what is that yeah so everything that you do it can be if you want it can be cloud stored mm -hmm. every presentation that you make how many times you have you know changed the clicks it it can you even be you know it can preempt you to if it says after certain time you you change the slide it can preempt you there mm -hmm. that you know would you would you like to change that so in it, 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 it sometimes after maybe using eight or 10 times it will you know mostly take you through you, you will not even have to click those buttons it will read your mind basically okay. that's that's the beauty of it so we'll tell you what yeah i actually do have a digitizer yes sir fine so i do have a digitizer i was just looking at an upgrade product yes. so do you think it has got enough reasons for me to invest into it uh, again i i do possess a digitizer it's not that i cannot have it i was just looking at an upgrade product so do you actually think i should buy it advise me as a friend not as a yes, salesman sir. sir this is this technology is at least 5 years ahead in its time and mm -hmm. i i i believe sir uh, your your digitizer does not have that click technology the ais ais are not yet yeah that's a right. basic one but it yes. does the job for me most of the time yes i i totally understand sir and I, as you mentioned you were looking for upgrade and that is why i showed you these features it is much beyond those you know once you get over those you know clicking on your uh, keyboards you will start enjoying it you will focus more on your presentation that that i believe is it is what you want rather than which keys you have to press mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. that way sir it will really add efficiency in your presentations Mm. So, do you sir uh, still have some concerns? What is the price, Samir? Sir, the all the market that you are actually using in, in the market are in the range of fifty sixty k. Mm. This product is is at just forty five k. And sir, this today uh, we have the inaugural offer, and if you buy today, it you will just get it at forty k. So that's. What is it today only? Yes, today. It is just for today, sir. Samir, I will need a couple of days to make up my mind. This is an expensive product. Yeah. I am not a millionaire. So I'm, I'm sure you can extend this discount if I let's say it will be it will be very difficult, sir. I have you know. No, it will be difficult, but that's possible. That's what I hear you saying. Uh, no, sir. I I don't think I'll be able to extend. I'm just trying to be you know mm. uh, reasonable here. If you can buy this uh, today, this is what uh, because tomorrow also you'll get the same quality but at a higher price, which I don't think you'll like to. Do. No, no. I definitely want to pay pay the higher price. Uh, I would want. To you can try, price, it, sir. You can. No, you no. Can, that yes, is okay. But I I would still want to discuss that. Uh, um, with with a friend of mine who just bought a digitizer and then compare the features and then come back to you. Yes, yeah, sir. As I said, I have a day. I can come back after a couple of hours when you have discussed. Maybe I can just uh, leave this demonstration pen also. You can check. You can convince yourself, and then just come back and uh, have a word. I still insist a couple of days would be fine. I mean, I mean, to to you know to invest this much, I'll, I'll need a couple of days to. you know uh, discuss the functionality with others and and then see if it's actually works the investment yeah. so, so you can definitely take your time but i won't be able to you know give uh, my discount to you there mm. so sure, i'll think about it samir uh, yeah I'll, i'll i'll think about this you know about the product but yes. then i'll have to look at my finances as well sure sir, sure that that's yeah. totally your account yeah. thank you samir thank you just try and understand what i was doing as a fastidious slightly reluctant finicky customers who does not have a lot of money and wants to make a wise investment and and this guy a salesman who is you know 
into addressing all the concerns and queries and hell bent on selling it today only fine so understand the process amir would explain it how it went like kya kiya usne jo har step tha wo kya tha it's a four step thing uh, he'll explain it please try and understand and any such exercise if it comes to you in an interview uh, should be thought of from that angle only try to make note of this this will be really important if you ever you know even tomorrow when your bosses are giving some unreasonable target uh which are selling uh, your say insurance or th- this will work and i think i, I hope they give you the uh, appropriate training etc so first try to understand if i just say basic four so there is opening yeah there is probing there is supporting and there is closing four steps right just just you know write it down opening your probing then we move to supporting and finally i close it okay now if i extend this okay Uh, the process of sales it is implicit the product has already been formed right you have a product and then the sales process begins so for that what what is the first process you have to do some homework which is called prospecting and planning yeah that's before opening so that's pre sale part which is called prospecting and planning so what is prospecting there prospecting is trying to find out who would be your willing customers uh, uh, how many people have bought wo do data bikhta hai na market mein aapko bhi bahut sare if you have ever filled a form except merit shines you keep getting those nagging mails right because those data people generally share yeah so what happens these data this is the prospecting part they know these guys are interested in say xyz course digitizer and admission in mba so all this this is the first part of prospecting so you have your your set of say 100 200 1000 depending on what your product you have that's the prospecting part then you do the planning you start trying to understand that customer you want to have more information about that customer if you can get that you can plan better when i meet that person now i'll be able to give him a better opening so all this prospecting and planning happens because i have to do a good opening yeah opening is the most important part because that is the first time you are seeing the customer you have to grab his attention in the first 5 7 10 seconds if you are not able to do that walk a sale pitch kharab ho gaya again there is nothing to worry about sales mein kabhi bhi aage chal kar ke aap karoge ghabrana mat theek hai 100 darwaze khatkhataoge ek ne bhi khol diya that's that's good you know even there are 10 days when 100 ke 100 ne nahi khola don't don't feel disheartened there is absolutely no problem you learn you perfect yourself just analyze when when my one sale this pitch has gone wrong i'll go back and see where did i make mistake was i too pushy did i not give him a very good introduction do i need to tweak it was this profile right or he had just filled the form what was this customer correct for me what am i missing when you introspect you start getting better at sales right so this opening part is when you put the best possible feature and you know already you cannot मैं एक जाकर के रिक्शे वाले को जाकर के डिजिटाइजर नहीं दिखा सकता ना आई आई नीड टू प्रोस्पेक्ट प्रोस्पेक्ट एंड प्लान प्लीज आई टू अंडरस्टैंड डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द प्रोडक्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट अदरवाइज वो हमारे सेल के जो ये थे आई स्टार्टेड एज अ सेल्स मैन सो यू नो दे से खाज कहीं खुजली कहीं सो बेसिकली यू हैव इच इन योर इयर्स एंड यू आर यू नो स्क्रैचिंग योर नोज दैट विल नेवर हेल्प अ सेल राइट सो हमेशा ट्राई टू फाइंड वो खुजली है कहां वो खाज है कहां वहीं खुजली करनी है राइट that that is the idea of the sale so i have found and you know i and to find that khujli wala point i have to pro so after a good grand opening what my product is but that might not just interest him at all ho sakta hai ai se to uska nata hi nahi hai he is afraid of technology so i have to understand what his needs are that's probing right that's the next step most important after grand opening i need to understand sir what are your actual need to ab mere ko pata chala khaj ka hai ab main wahan kuch likh karunga he said he needs an economic pen it does not have recurring cost it should be in his budget and it should be the best in the market right so I, i'll enforce if i and always understand the customer and same sir if i understand correctly these were the features you are looking on i'll be very glad to say that this product actually matches your requirement if it is the until he was doing some bogus sales you have come to him with planning you already know what he is you know requiring and then you just listen to him so that the customer yeh nahi soch raha aap isko chipka rahe ho you are listening to him you are you know kind of uh, say emphasizing what he has said you accept what his concerns are and then you are saying your product features matches exactly which his okay that's your supporting so you probed him and then you supported with the features open pata kiya kahan khaj hai khujli kiya hamare support wala right 
the next all these you know go very easy with many people the last part closing is where it's it's very tricky okay and i'm not saying you know every time it will work if i have prospected well if i know he is in need of digitizer i will compel him to buy today closing part is very important jaise do din diya na ye mera naam bhi bhul jayega digitizer ka naam bhi bhul jayega nahi hone wala hai no unless it's something ek wo 10 lakh ka product le raha hai wo ghar le raha hai or you know he's buying a car etc i'll not give him time for 30 40000 mere ko pata hai is is you know iska coaching center bhi theek chal raha hai ye 50000 de sakta hai so why is asking me two days i'll i'll try to force him to do it today that is the reason why i was pushing if i was selling a house i'll say no sir i think you should take good two three days you should also talk to your father you should also talk to your wife show them this place bring them and you know uh, see what what their opinion is about that is the uh, you know level where you have to make that discretion kitna product hai uske liye kitna ye chahiye aur abhi uske jeb mein kitna paisa ho sakta is that really going to put financial burden on him time do yaar give him some time then follow up right on that there are two kind of follow up one will be when i have given him time and then when he said two days second day morning i'll be on his door if you don't go there kyunki third day bolega maine to aapko do din pehle bulaya tha na aaj aake kya kar raha ho maine to kisi aur se khareed liya right so there you have to be very punctual and go and do not give him chance aaj do bola na because he has taken my time he will be obligated to listen to me on the second day third day jaoge he will not listen to you all these are very small things but it is very very essential now the final part is if i had sold in the pen and if i am very sure about my product mai chor nahi hu ki kuch bhi chipka ke chala gaya then i'll come back and say after a week sir did you like the digitizer how how is it working has it improved the efficiency of your presentation etc this is what i'll come back so reinforce that the sale that you know it does not give me anything it is for him to make him feel better that he has made the right choice aapne kabhi dekha car bar ka aap dekhoge boarding uh, hoarding lagi hoti hai the best ye jab aap wo kiske liye hai is for the customer who are already driving that car he sees and feels yeah maine na ye shahrukh khan wala car liya hai or you know i have i have bought a good purchase that reassurance that's how the psychology and sales work i i hope that gives you a perspective to at least give it a try interview mein kya ho sakta hai if they are open to it they are giving you ideas they are ready to cross question then they are looking for the sales process mere ko ek random mobile pakda diya aur ye kar diya so just ask them sir can i be creative here or do i already know some features uh here uh, how how do i proceed how do i proceed about uh, you know uh, this this phone so wo aapko bata denge ki nahi you are free to you know go ahead and sell as you want then show your innovate usme ai laga do usme cloud computing laga do usme na kuch gigawatt ka power laga do jo mann mein aaye but if he says no this is a simple phone of 2000 nokia wala kind hai then be in that limited and see what benefits you can fd bechne ke liye bol sakta hai to ab kya bologe sir i understand you are looking for a fd ka aaj aap ye karna cha rahe ho but uh, you know if i if i understand properly sir what are you concern why are you looking for this fd one one is definitely the security wo bolega dusra bolega i want a good return which is not there in this so sir exactly these these things are matching even in my new product here which is designed specially for pensioners like you if you put it sir your safety security is 100% guaranteed by the bank and gives you better return ye this is how what jaise maine usko khaj pata kiya maine apne iski wahan par fir khujli kar di कि ये वाला सर जो प्रोडक्ट है एग्जैक्टली वही दे रहा है आप क्यों एफडी पे जा रहे हो